face. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I look like a tablecloth. They might put a buffet on me, cutlery and all. No, no, it's, it's nice, it's proper. For Oxford. I'm going to think I'm part of the Amish community. Think of the diversity, darling. I could just walked off the set of Witness 2. No, stop it. Look at this. What? How amazing does Daisy look in that? I don't look anything like her. She's been airbrushed to high heaven. Let me tell you, I know a lot about heaven. I wish someone would airbrush me. You don't mean that. She looks like something off a towie. You look... Like I should be on a horse and trap. Love. Some of the... I, I think you look fab. You think cassocks look great? Right. It's a bit... You're not know who I'm kidding. Me going to Oxford Uni. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's brilliant. It's exciting. I just feel so bad. You know, Daniel was the one who really fired me up for this interview and mentored me. And... But today someone wrote something daft on his board. Well, who, whose fault is that? Well, certainly not yours. But why don't you just pull this worry aside, we'll go down the bistro and have a nice meal. Well, I can ask Paul if he wants to come along too. Paul? Yeah, look, I know he messes up every now and again, but it's only because he cares about you. Mm. Would you be OK with him coming? There's only one way to find out. Is this because I look like a tablecloth? Is that what gave you the idea, to sit round a table and eat? No. I'll just give him a ring. Look a nice cloth. Uh, table, sorry. See? Look, just a slip of the tongue. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Do you want to go somewhere else? Do you mind? Not at all. Oh, hey, look at that specials board. Banoffee pie. You love that, don't you? Key lime, I like. I'm just going to stick to salad anyway. Not really that hungry. You can have a day off, you know. From what? Wrecking teachers' lives? From stressing about food. Oh, really? Well, you, you can have more than salad, though. We can work out the carbs together and take the insulin to cover it, if you fancy. Well, I do like the dirty burgers they do here. Oh, yeah, who doesn't? Dirty's my middle name. <sighs> that was so nice. Oh, yeah, wasn't it? Top scran. Why are all the things that are bad for you so tasty? Uh, I'm tasty. And I'm not bad for anyone. <laughs> it's just so nice to eat normally again and, like, know I can take control. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Well, I'm impressed. I hope you've saved room for pudding. Oh, yeah, death by chocolate. Death by heart attack. <laughs> Ooh, someone was hungry. Do you know what? I really like these lights. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some of them. Nick them, then. No, I can't do that. I'm a man of the cloth. When we were growing up, my mum had a whole dinner service that she'd nicked from the Italian restaurant she were cleaning for. Used to nick a piece a week. That is shocking behaviour. Yeah. We even had the avocado dishes. Oh. Used them as ashtrays, like. I've got to get home. I've got my insulin. Oh, all right, well, we'll settle up here. Hey, I hope that was the right... Everything all right? Ever better? Take your insulin, OK? Uh, yeah, all done and dusted, thank you. It's a great meal, that, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> I'm going to smash this Oxford interview tomorrow. Going to nail it.